Uh, Noel here and just checking in to give you a couple of kind of things to think about ahead of you starting your interviews with your candidates. So we've created a really great shortlist for you. Uh, depending on the approach that we've taken for you and that we've agreed with you, uh, we may well have tested them already or you may be jumping into interviews first. Now, I'm going to share with you some kind of interview questions that we recommend that you use. Feel free. If you've got some great ones that you like instead of these, feel free. Um, but you can discard them or you can use them. There's just a few that we find tend to work kind of pretty well to help you kind of dig a little bit deeper into the candidates. Now, through the application process, the application form, the answers they've written, the videos they've hopefully done, or the screening interviews we've done for you, we've collected a good amount of information about the candidates, about what they say they've done and about what they say they can do. Now, one of the things that you've got to think about is that the purpose of the interview for you is really to kind of get to know them, right? You've got an idea from their CV and their application and the testing whether they can do the job. Now it's really about figuring out, you know, just kind of verifying that. We always talk about trust, but verify. And also really kind of figuring out, are they the kind of person that you can work with and the kind of person that you want to work with? Now, a little bit of danger here. You don't need to hire someone that you'd like to go out for a drink or a coffee with. It kind of helps, but it's not essential. It's way more important that they've got the attitude that you need for them to do the role really well and that they're gonna kind of fit in well enough with you and the team, but hopefully bring something a little bit different to the party. So with that in mind, what you wanna be digging into is, uh, you know, kind of how do they feel about things? How do they like to work? What's their work set up? Where do they like to work from? Uh, you know, when in the day? Um, what are the kind of challenges that they like and dislike? And, you know, I often ask things like, uh, you know, how have they dealt with a particular situation? Or give them a scenario, you know, how would they deal with things? You know, if you ask them what they did, it's kind of easy for them to kind of make things up potentially. Um, you know, but again, when you ask them about the future, what they would do, they're on the spot a little bit more. They won't be as prepared. Um, and just to be clear, most people don't make things up. Um, just going to pause here a second. Uh, most people don't make things up. So it really is about you getting to know them, kind of building that trust, just digging into a little bit, you know, what are they about? What's important to them? Um, and this can help you as you really kind of get towards making an offer and actually offering someone to come and join your team. You can have a better idea of what's important to them. So, like I said, we're going to list out some kind of interview questions for you. But remember, this is not an interrogation. This needs to be and should be two way. It needs to be a chance for them to kind of ask questions too. Um, and make sure it's a two way dialogue, right? So, you know, giving them a chance to kind of come back and kind of ask you questions during the process. Sorry for the background noise. Um, and uh, also, really, um, you're just mixing things up a little bit, right? Get to know them, you know, always kind of start the interview off with uh, kind of getting them relaxed and which will help to relax you too. It's completely okay to be nervous. Being a great interviewer is not your job, right? Just think of this as a conversation, getting to know them. That's what it's really about. So going to give you kind of a few bullets and things to think about specific for your role. If you've got any questions, do please let me know. Um, I almost make no apologies, maybe a tiny little bit of apology for any kind of background noise as I do these videos. Uh, I like doing them as I walk around London. Uh, you've got, what have we got in the background here? Over there, we've got St. Paul's Cathedral. Uh, I'm going to pan around. What else can we show you? We've got the Shard over there. Um, and we've got the River Thames, which is beautiful, right? It's a nice place to be. And it's a pretty sunny, amazing morning right now that I'm doing this. So a little bit different. There's a noisy train in the background, but hopefully you're going to forgive me. That squeaks a bit loud. Um, but uh, yeah, good luck with your interviews. Let us know if you have any questions. And, uh, you know, we're here to support you throughout the process. And you'll be getting some more of these videos as we move further through the process very, very soon. All the best and good luck with your interviews.